Former Tennessee Titans tight end Frank Wycheck, celebrated for his pivotal role in the iconic Music City Miracle, passed away at the age of 52 in his Chattanooga, Tennessee home. The tragic incident occurred on Saturday, with Wycheck reportedly falling and sustaining a fatal head injury, as revealed by the Titans in a statement released on Sunday morning. The family intends to collaborate with experts for ongoing research into brain injury, including traumatic brain injury, TBI, and chronic traumatic encephalopathy, CTE. Wycheck's notable career spanned 11 seasons in the NFL from 1993 to 2003, featuring stints with Washington and the Houston Oilers before becoming an integral part of the Titans franchise from 1997 until his retirement. The three-time Pro Bowler and 2000 All-Pro awardee etched his name in NFL history with the infamous lateral play during the Music City Miracle. This dramatic kickoff return for a touchdown secured a wildcard victory for the Titans over the Buffalo Bills in the 1999 playoffs. During the memorable play, Wycheck received the ball from fullback Lorenzo Neal, executed a cross-field lateral to receiver Kevin Dyson, who subsequently sprinted 75 yards for the game-winning touchdown. This triumph propelled the Titans to the Super Bowl that season, though they were defeated by the St. Louis Rams. Wycheck concluded his illustrious career with impressive stats, amassing 505 receptions, 5,126 yards, and 28 touchdowns. A key target for MVP quarterback Steve McNair, Wycheck played a significant role in leading the Titans in receiving from 1999 to 2001. Beyond his on-field achievements, Wycheck's contributions were recognized with inductions into the Titans Ring of Honor and the Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame. Having played college football at Maryland, his alma mater also paid tribute on social media. Post-retirement, Wycheck transitioned to a successful career as a radio broadcaster, calling Titans games, and hosting a sports talk show in Nashville, Tennessee. He leaves behind a legacy survived by his daughters Deanna and Madison, as well as grandchildren Leo, Stevie, and August.